three questions that often come into my mind whenever I review software updates. Number one, what different type of software update classification are present? Number two, can I get entire list of updates that is released by Microsoft? Number three, how to review each update that is each KB, their features, issues, their workarounds and fixes. Also, that particular KB, whether it's replaced or will be replacing some other KB and how to manually download updates. All those things we are going to cover in this particular video. So if you're new to this particular channel or if you are yet to subscribe, then please click subscribe so that you get more updates related to MECM. This is your host Yagnesh Malavia welcoming you on this particular channel. So let us review different software update classification. For that, I will go to Microsoft website where it is mentioned configure classification and products to synchronize. So the easy way to navigate to this particular link is you can go to Google and type update classification. So when I enter this, I will get the first link which is referring to HTTPS docs.microsoft. If I click on this link, I will be redirected to this particular Microsoft document where it's giving configure classification and products. So in this particular website, they are referring how to configure classification and products to synchronize. This we will cover in the later video on how this configuration will happen on the configuration manager console. However, we are right now focusing on the update classification that are present. So critical updates, it's a fix for a specific problem that addresses as critical and non security related bug. Definition updates are more of a product definition that is updated in database. Feature packs, that is more of a features that are updated on a particular product that is part of the feature pack. Security update, it's a fix for a particular product that is security related vulnerable. Then it's a service pack, which is cumulative of all the hot fixes, security update, critical update, updates that are applied to a product. Then it's tools, update rollups, updates, upgrade. So these are basically a brief understanding on what all different classification are there when a particular KB is released. Now we move forward to understand that how to get entire list of updates that is released by Microsoft. For that, this is a particular website, which is msrc.microsoft.com slash update guide. Over here, as you see that I have selected a particular date, we can get the updates for a given range of month. That is update Tuesday, second Tuesday or particular month and year. So whatever period you are looking to get the updates that is released by Microsoft, each and everything we are going to get it over here. So the reason we are saying second Tuesday is because every second Tuesday of the month, Microsoft releases patches. I have selected this particular range, April 1 to April 30. So whatever updates that are released in the month of April that we are going to see it over here. Now, as you see, a lot of updates are there of April 12. So if I see the calendar, April 12, which is the second Tuesday of the month. So this is the patch Tuesday and the other updates that we are seeing after that particular date that is called as out of band updates. So if you want to go to this particular website, no need to remember this name. You can just go to Google and enter Microsoft security updates. So we will get this particular link. When we click on this link, it will be redirected to msrc.microsoft.com slash update guide. Now, the third thing that we are going to understand is we got the entire list of updates. How to understand each KB feature, improvement issues, the workout and fixes. So if we are looking at this particular update and we will see the KB number also, as you see over here. So if I click on any of the KB, it will be redirecting to another link. So let me click over here and we'll get more information of what that particular KB do. So here is the highlight update security for Windows operating system. And there are improvement based on the OS build. 
suppose if I click on Windows 10 version 20H2, then it says that this security update includes improvement that were part of update this particular KB article and it addresses an issue that causes denial of service vulnerability on cluster shared volumes as well as there's a known issue in this update so if someone is installing this update then this is a known issue let's click on it so what is going to happen if this particular issue is reported devices with windows installation created for custom offline media so iso image might have microsoft edge legacy removed by this update so if this particular issue is reported where microsoft edge legacy is removed then this is a workaround where they are asking to extract the kb this one particular kb and then use this command and post that this may work out so this is a workaround that they have come up as a solution if there is an issue that is reported and most probably in the later updates this particular fix will be part of some other kb similarly like there are multiple articles that are present so if i click on some other article which i have already opened it over here so as an example this particular kb if i check here it's a highlight update an issue that prevents you from changing a password that has expired when you sign into windows device so this is a particular highlight this particular kb is referring to and there are multiple improvements as well as known issue so here they are mentioning that after installing this kb some asian language pack installed may receive this particular error so for this they have given a workaround where uninstall and reinstall recently added language pack so this all things really works out very well when the kb is updated in the environment and people have started reporting some issue so you can go to this particular website refer what does that particular kb do and if there's a known issue is there a workaround which is there so quickly you can apply the workaround because the issue that you are reporting there are high chances that if it's a known issue other community would have also reported the same thing and microsoft would have already started working on the solution so this is another thing of understanding each kb feature improvements issues their workaround and fixes now the next thing is how to review whether a particular update replaces existing update or it's already replaced by other update for that we will go to another website that is microsoft update catalog catalog.update.microsoft.com this is a link again if you want to go to this particular link you can just type update catalog over here and once you type update catalog the first link that we will get it is microsoft update catalog you can paste any of the kb so over here i just pasted this particular kb we can enter the number here or with the kb also you can write it out once we enter then we get the kb as per the os build now for an example if i go for either windows 10 21 h1 i just click on it it will give me a lot of information what does that particular kb do the description install this update to resolve issues in a windows for a complete list of issues that are included in see the associated microsoft knowledge base article and then package details so this is the thing which i was referring whether it's replaced or will be replacing it so this particular kb will be replacing this kbs so if a device is having this particular kb and 5012599 is installed it will be replacing this kb similarly if a device is having 5011831 then this particular kb will be replaced like this particular kb will not be there it will be replaced by 5011831 so this is a brief information of to understand whether that particular kb is replaced or will be replacing it and install resources whether that particular kb will require a restart or not also uninstall this software update can be removed by selecting view install update in the program and features control panel because certain times some updates are there which cannot be removed so this is additional information to understand what does that particular kb do now 
the fifth point which is there is manually download the updates for that we can just click on this particular download button it will give me a pop-up and over here it will be msv file i just right click save link as or even if we click it it will download to our local machine so that's the learning that i'm sharing if you feel that the knowledge that I am sharing is good, is useful, then please like and comment because your like, your comments are really helping me to come up with more knowledge videos. And also if you are yet to subscribe, then please click subscribe so that you get more updates related to MECM. With this, this is Yagnesh Malavya thanking you for watching this particular video.